Okay, so Olympus have just released worldwide their very first dictation app called Olympus Dictation, great name. So what I wanted to do today was just run through the app, have a look at some of the settings, see how it works, just to give you an idea of what the app can do. Now if you've had a look at my blog then you'll know that the app can function in two different ways. It's, it's a free download from iTunes or from um, Google Play and you can turn on extra functionality if you subscribe to the new ODDS which is Olympus Dictation Delivery Service. It's a 12 month subscription. So I'll run through some of the settings and I'll point out which settings are subscription based and which, which settings are, are free. So this is the settings screen within the app. Um, straight away we'll look at the communication options. So first up we've got communication via email. So with the free version and with the subscribe version you can record audio on your iPhone or Android phone and you can even get some audio off of your Pro Dictaphones, your DS7000 or your DS3500 using a flash air card. We'll cover that a bit later. And once you have the audio onto your smartphone, you can use email to send it back to your transcription team. So under email, we've got some email options. These are obvious ones. Recipients, you can just pull up from your address book. You can set the subject line of the email and you can put whatever you want in the message body. Now coming back to communication, the other option you've got is to server. Now this option is only valid if you have an ODDS subscription. So looking at the server options you'll see why. So the server URL, some people may be mistaken in thinking they can use their own server to transfer the audio, that's not the case. You have to use the new dictation portal website from Olympus. And when you have a chat with your 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 local Olympus dealer, they can set you up on the dictation portal for your business and for the number of smartphones that you need. And there is some options there to run a, a trial period. So if you want to just give it a go for 30 days and see how it, how it works, how it fits in with your business, then I'd, I'd totally encourage doing that. So under the server options, we've got the URL to the Olympus dictation portal and a username and password that you'll be issued with and your email address. Now once you get issued that by your reseller, you can go ahead and just check that, that, all, that all's good and then you're, you're good to go. So those are the, the comms options, email or sending via the ODDS cloud server. So now we come down to the recording options. Now again, these differ between the free and the paid version. So on the, the subscription based version, you ha you're going to have the option to record in a couple of formats. Um, these formats are actually configured on the ODDS cloud server in that dictationportal.com website that I just showed you. So not a lot can really be, be changed here. You can turn on your, your voice activation if you'd prefer to use that, adjust your mic sensitivity, and if you've got a Bluetooth headset and mic that you want to use, you can turn that on or off too. But the recording format is set via the portal, not on the app itself, with the ODS, ODDS subscription version. Push to talk is just an option that allows you to hold a button down on the iPhone and record rather than just tap once to record. So if we go back to sending via email, this um, so this applies for free and ODDS subscriptions then you'll see that the recording audio format has has changed and we can make some changes on the the app itself so because we've got an iPhone we're recording in AAC and that produces a .m4a audio file and you've got a couple of choices there for audio quality um, if you can I may as well go high all the time you want the best audio quality Again, Bluetooth inputs allowed, so you can use a, a Bluetooth headset or mic, microphone sensitivity if you're using voice activation, and the push to talk option. So down here in the workflow section, this is where you can configure your author. So if you're already using a DS7000 or 3500 in your business, you'll already have an author assigned to you, so that when your audio comes through to your transcription team, they can identify you based on your author. So great idea to set your, your author ID to the same as what you currently use in the office. Then from the transcriptionist point of view, they they really don't care what you're recording on, whether you're recording on an iPhone or whether you've recorded on your, your pro digital dictaphone. So this is just a nice way of identifying you. Work type lists, these are all configurable. There's um, some defaults in here, so fax, letter, memo, report are all defaults, and you can add your own. So I've added Dragon in there for mine because I like to send my audio through and have Dragon to transcribe my audio for me via ODMS. Um, again, with the um, 
if you're using the ODDS subscription service, so we're going via the server, then the author and work type list are configured on the dictation portal rather than in the app. And then we've just got some general settings, so um, when you record your items and send them, do you want to always keep them? Or you can you know, change that down to the last few days. When you launch the app, a couple of decisions on what you want to go and see. So you can either launch straight into a new recording or you can have a look at your list of recordings. Language, this comes in English, German, French, Spanish, Swedish and um, Czech I think that is. And then we've got Flash Air, use Flash Air option. Now, when Olympus launched the um, the the app, they've also launched two new versions of the DS7000 and the DS3500 called the Air. Now the difference between the Air and a standard dictaphone is that it comes with a Toshiba Flash Air card. Now the Flash Air cards, they're very common in cameras and it's a, it's a great way, they, they've basically got Wi-Fi enabled within the card. So it's a great way to communicate from a device to a smartphone or a, a tablet or a PC. Um, so with a Flash Air card in your Pro Dictaphone, your 3500 or your 7000, you've then got the ability to, if you prefer to use your Dictaphone rather than recording to your smartphone, you can take your Dictaphone anywhere with you, chat away to it, turn on the Flash Air compatibility and then send the audio from your, your Dictaphone to your app and then just use your smartphone as a, a means to transfer the audio back to your transcription team. And again, um, you've got the option of going via email or via the the ODDS cloud server. So that just about covers all the settings. Um, I'm just going to go in and have a look at what it looks like when you record something. So um, pretty typical um, recording layout for any if you if you've seen some iPhone apps that do voice recording then they're all pretty similar. So we've got the options here of um, overriding audio or inserting. So these are these are typical um, dictaphone type functionality. We can hit the record button and you've got the um, you, you've got the peak meter there so you can see how your audio is being being fed in. So as I'm talking away up and down goes the the audio bar. Now we can pause that and we can um, have a look that the the audio bar changes to to like a a voice meter so you can see what what audio you've, you've recorded when and we can play that back and just just confirm that what we've recorded is what we really need now we've positioned our cursor in here we can now overwrite that audio so I'm overriding from from part part way in of that recording or I can flick insert and insert some audio as well. So it's a pretty standard um, dictaphone type functionality. Um, in here we've also got the ability to change your your work work type. So again we can set dragon or some of the defaults, whatever you want before you send the audio. And you can even have a, a chance to rename the files here. So if you want to put um, rather than the, the generic file names you can put in your own file names too. Sending audio, just a case of hitting the, the send button at the bottom and we can send the audio via email and away it goes. So I can just send that to myself. You can add some, some blurb to your email here as well if it's not predefined in the settings that I showed you earlier. And there you see the M4A file attached ready to go. And off it goes. And so really, it, it's really as simple as that. Um, very easy to use, very easy to, to keep a track of all your audio and if you're if you need to dictate out of the office then it's a it's a fantastic way to key in with your existing ODMS transcription module and if you're using um, a 7000 or a 3500 those recorders too with a flash air card. So that just a there you go very quick um, video just to show you some of the basics of the new app I'm going to be doing some more videos shortly especially around the flash air and how to connect those up and um, yeah, thanks for dropping by.